What's up guys, I'm Triple Jazz, you're your name, maybe Julio, and we're both here to get better at making art. Now, I know by the title of the video you're probably thinking, Jazz, why have you been holding out on us? Why? Why did we never know this? It's, it's, it's must-know information, Jazz. You must tell the world! Well, that's what I'm doing, dear friend. I'm here to save you from yourself, the lies that you believe. There is, in fact, a pen tool in Clipsio Paint, although... Doesn't function as fully as it should, so sort of? Let's jump right into it, I'll show you. So, this is the default workspace in Clip Studio Paint. And when you open it up, this is most likely what yours is gonna look like. Mine, however, does not look like this, so I'm gonna show you where to find the tool based on the default layout. And I'll be using hotkeys while going through it. This is what my layout looks like, so it's probably gonna look different than yours. So let's just go based off the defaults and just assume that's what you have. So what you wanna do to find the correct tool, which is called the Bezier Curve Tool, this is the pen tool in Clip Studio Paint. Press U, it should be the first one. We are looking for the Line or Figure Tool Panel. And in the Subtool Panel, down here, or on the sidebar for you, uh, it's the Bezier Curve. Make sure that the behavior is on cubic bezier, and this is essentially the pen tool. So I'm gonna show you how it works. On a new layer, click and drag, blah, blah, blah. Woohoo, lines. It can also do fill, and it can also do line fill. Wow, this sounds just like pen tools and other programs. You would think the only way to create a fill is on a raster layer. So if you want to edit a fill, you can't. It's impossible. It doesn't make any sense. One of the main functions of a pen tool is to be editable. I can click and drag, and when my selection is done and I complete it, I get a fill. So my workaround, because I have to use the pen tool a lot in a lot of my professional workflows, create a new vector layer. Done. Realize that you cannot edit the line fill unless you're on a raster layer. Get a new raster layer just so you can edit the pen tool or use the paper background. Wow, amazing. Okay, let's make sure it's on line. Back to our vector layer, we're gonna come here and we're gonna click, drag, blah, blah, blah. This has editable points now, okay? Because it's on a vector layer, we can edit it. You're going to edit it with the correct line tool or Y for hotkey. And we are looking for the control point subtool. And you can see when I hover my mouse over the pen tool line that we've created on the vector layer, I can edit all these points now. All the points pop up and it like, look, it's just like a pen tool in Photoshop and Illustrator. Let's make things a little bit easier. If you go up to view, show vector pass, show vector pass on vector layers, we can now see the path for what it is. Everything behaves here as you would expect, but if you're unfamiliar, I'm gonna go through some stuff real quick. First of all, if you click on the end of a handle, it will move the handle around, magically. If you click and drag and hold Alt while you do it, it will break the handle points and separate them. If you hold Shift and Alt on an anchor point, it will transform the anchor point into either linear, smooth, or broken. So you, this is the convert anchor point tool, essentially. Okay, well then how do we make a selection fill? Cause that's something I need to do. Well, press W for the magic wand. Come over here, select refer multiple, make sure this is toggled, selected layer only, and now we can make a selection from this. And then create a new layer, fill. So this is what I have to do over and over and over again with the professional workflow that I have. Whoa, would you look at the time? It's time for an ad. And now, a word from today's sponsor. If you'd like to support my work directly, think about becoming a channel member with access to all live streams and early access to videos. Play Gumroad page also has a bunch of freebies and a new paid course teaching you to create high quality video game character art, a workflow I've used for clients such as Sega. Visit gumroad.com slash triple jazz for more info. And now back to our programming. Another really handy thing to have is over here in the tool property panel, wherever that is for you, make sure you're on add control point. So that way, as you're zooming in, I just use hold alt to zoom in mouse wheel. You can add points in case they need to be corrected. If I hold alt while this is selected, then I can remove anchor points. So it makes it very easy to add and remove things. So if you hold alt, the handles disappear. The handles disappear. We don't know why Clip Studio Paint does this to us, but they do. Hey guys, post recording jazz here. A couple more things I want to touch on. Firstly, if you hold shift while controlling an anchor point's handles, you will lock it to 45 degree increments. This can help you organize your handle points and make them nice and clean. One last frustrating UX design choice to go over is the inability to continue a line after it's done. Let's say 
I'm done with this line, so I click off of it. Most programs will allow you to take your pen tool, click the end of a line, and continue the path because it's broken. It hasn't completed yet. I have not found a way to do this in Clip Studio Paint. You simply have to create a new line here. Again, things like this just make this very difficult to recommend to use, but if you're in a pinch, it's here. Anyways, that's it for me, post-editing jazz. So if you found this video helpful, Share it with a friend, share it on Discord, tell someone about it. I think this is really important for people to know. It is very helpful. You cannot do professional vector graphics in this program. You would need something else to do that. But at the very least, if you wanna make really precise selections with a pen tool equivalent, Clipsio Paint has it. I really hope they get a fill in here because it would just be so helpful to not use other programs for fills or have to go through the process and take those extra steps to create a selection and then add a fill on a raster layer. It'd be super helpful to have a live edited fill whenever you need it. But this is how you achieve this. And actually with this addendum, you can now follow my Affinity Designer course inside Clipsio Paint effectively. Be sure to check that out. That's available on Udemy, Gumroad, Skillshare. It's also available through my Lightning Kaiju member tier, which is only $9.99 a month. So effectively you could go through the course at you know a quarter of the price if you wanted to. I'm also planning on having sales for this course because I think it's really valuable for people to have and understand. Follow me on Gumroad for any email updates that I might send your way regarding sales for that course. Be sure to like and subscribe, share the video again. Take care. I'll see you all in the next one. Be sure to make good art.